Hey, Dong. All right. Very windy and cold out today in Philly. Wow. A uh, little chilly here and windy in Philly today. It is uh, Friday the 27th, I believe, or 26th, something like that. Whatever, it don't matter. Hey, are you digging the Ed Bassmaster hat? It's one of a kind, and if you want one, I believe we're coming out soon with more. I have to fix my numb. Kids like to walk by my garden and tip over my gnome. And I see them at my window. But anyhow, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. And that's Gushers. That's right, Gushers. Uh, one of my favorite snacks. And I'll tell you the reason why. Because it's almost like uh, you're getting two for one. You're biting into a delicious fruit snack and then you're having a glass of nutritious, 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 nutritious. You're having a glass of juice along with your fruit snack. So you're getting the best of both worlds. So that's why I love Gushers, and I, rec I highly recommend them. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye. All right, guys, I gotta tell you a funny story that just happened. I'm here at the Pet Boys. I'm here at Pet Boys getting a, uh, an inspection on my truck. So if you see that big truck there, that big truck is parked out front and it's blocking some of the customers. So I'm standing there talking to the guy and a woman comes in, she goes, Excuse me, sir, is there any way you think they can move that truck? They're blocking in some of the customers. All nice and sweet and polite. No big deal. The guy's like, oh, sure, man, we'll get that out of the way right away. She comes back outside, and apparently her husband or boyfriend was waiting for her, and she goes, yeah, I told him. I went in there. I was like, yo, you got to move that truck. I felt like saying, hon, you did not say that. People lie so bad around here. I'm telling you. So I'm in uh, Center City here, and I just got a couple mustaches. A lot of you guys always ask me where I get my costumes from, and I get them from all different places. I shop at a lot of thrift stores, and uh, right now I just went to a place called... Right now I just went to a costume place here in Philly. Um, if you're looking for good mustaches, Pierre's Costumes in Philly has uh, great mustaches and they're not that bad. They're like 12 bucks. And you can get all different kinds. You know, so you can get you a handlebar mustache. Mm-hmm. And I had to get a new uh, Stu Richardson wig because, um, I mean mustache. Wow, that's pretty big, ain't it? That's a pretty big one, ain't it? I'm going to have to trim this one up a little bit, you see? Because it's just a little big for me. I like them just a little bit smaller. You know what I mean? Just a little bit smaller. So I get, I like to get them big like that because then you can trim them the way, you know, to look perfect for you. All right, so I just found the coolest store on South Street. Look at this. It's all antique lamps, statues. This store is awesome. All right, so I just found the coolest store on South Street. Look at this. It's all antique lamps, statues. This store is awesome. I've walked by this store a million times, but I've never come in. This store is just amazing. How are you? This is so cool. Honestly, this is the type of place that I see in my dreams. I'm being dead serious. Like, when I have my dreams, it's like places like this. I mean, this is just insane. I wonder if you can go upstairs. We're gonna go check this out upstairs. Dude, this is creepy. This is so, this is like a haunted house. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Imagine if you got locked in here at night and you had to sleep in here. This would be spooky. It's it's mostly like all antique lamps. Oh wow. Look at this. Wow, dude. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh man, look at that. Um, it's kind of scary because this building is really old and I can hear somebody walking around upstairs and it's kind of scary. I'm out of here. Let's go. This, oh my gosh, dude. This place is creepy. Somebody was walking around upstairs on the third floor. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's creepy. Okay, so I'm at C. Neary Antiques. Uh, you're the owner, correct? Can I film you? Can, you what? Can I just take a picture of you? Uh, what's your name? Charles. And this is Charles from C. Neary Antiques, and he just showed me this awesome chandelier here, which was actually made in Philadelphia. What year was that made in? 1850, and I asked him what it would be worth, uh, what he would sell that piece for, and it's $75,000. So if you need a new lamp, a new chandelier, check that out. Look at the detail on that. That is gorgeous. And there's lots more where that came from. And here at uh, 3rd and South, According to the story I've heard, this is where Larry Fine was born, in this house right here. There's Larry from the Three Stooges. Check out South Street if you come to Philly. I used to come here when I was a little kid. My mom used to bring us here, me and my brother, when we were little kids. I grew up right around here, not too far from here. So I'm in the thrift store here, consignment shop, and I came across this bad boy. And I'm getting it. It has me written all over it. Well, actually it has birds all over it, but. Oh, snap, here we go. My style right there. I don't like that color though. Philadelphia is actually known for its murals. I believe it has more murals in it than any other city. I think I, I heard that somewhere. But yeah, everywhere you go, you see murals on the side of buildings, so it's pretty cool.